The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Basil Chapman. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour on this uh, 13th day of uh, June. And uh, let me just say before I forget, I will be doing my show tomorrow at 8 a.m. in the morning. Uh, it's going to be replayed at noon. And the next week I'm away. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be able to do any shows, live shows. Uh, as as uh, I will do my newsletter, my uh, opening call. That's going to be going out every day, at least uh, the trader, Trader's Corner plus a couple of the charts. I always try to put out a lot of uh, energy there, a lot of information for my subscribers. Oh, and thank you very much for those of you who attended last night's webinar. It is going to be up on TFNN front page. There is still, this is not like you need to get it absolutely today. If you didn't get it last night, you're really stuck. No, this is one that there were so many educational tools that I was discussing, so much information that... Um, is really pertinent to not just the time that we're in, to the time that I'm expecting coming up over the period of the next six to eight months, that I think it's uh, absolutely a valuable webinar in the sense that, well, first of all, it's free, in the sense that if you don't, if you get it and you're unhappy, it's a 30-day money-back guarantee, plus you'll get my other webinars that you've been able to peruse through, all very, very informative. But I really felt that I did it to the exact minute that a 90-minute web presentation, which included free thinking with charts, live charts, as well as a prepared, um, a prepared format, and we hit it right on the button with the questions answered, etc. So I feel very satisfied that I accomplished at least what I wanted to do. Hopefully, uh, subscribers, there were some nice comments, but I hope subscribers feel the same way. Most important about this particular webinar, I show some of the technical tools that can be used all the time in trading um and that that's that in fact is is worth its weight in gold oh talking about gold gold is up but let's do this quickly let me show you that the e-mini uh, everything with the um with two tankers uh having a, a being either attacked or at least something that happened conflagration uh, everything looks like oh my goodness what's the market going to do well the market just shrugged it off it's up 75 now in the dow up 10 in the s p it's uh, look at here's the e-mini if the e-mini at 28.95 this is already the uh, september oh man we're talking september um half the year is just about gone so we're looking at if at some point the e-mini gets to 29.03 today that's another uh, seven points. That's a lot of points to the upside. I'm just saying, don't get what the reason is. If it's able to break into the 29s again, that's going to be a big positive, not just for the close, but for tomorrow. And if there's a sudden turnaround, 28, I would put 28.84 as key support. So that's uh, 11 points down. Um, and we've got about 10 points up, 11 points up. Big, a big difference between the two. Let's get into the nitty gritties. Nitty gritty says that we've stopped right at the Chapman Wave inside track left side uh, resistance level between the pink line and the green. We did have, uh, in this particular case, it's not from the low, it's from a different point. We've got a left side, right side price time extension. And that went to uh, yesterday, no, went to the day, uh, today. No, no, sorry, went to yesterday. We didn't quite make it to the top part that I said was a key, a key level, 26,776. Uh, but we did go uh, to 26,000. What is that, a two? Did I just say something wrong? 248. So that was a two. I'm sorry. 26,276. I want to say, well, what am I talking about? Seven. That would be near the record high. Yeah. So it's a declining uh, trend line and it's a sideways move and it stopped right at the level that we said based on the 120 minute chart. Let me show you here for a second. Here's the 120 minute chart. Whoops, this is the 120 minute chart right here. There. So that went to a peak E and I said to uh, subscribers who had got in Monday a week ago at the low, the exact low of the Dow, 
that if if they were swing traders based on the usual three to five sessions that you would if you're a day trader and working for a swing it had reached at least a d and if there was a pop-up to an e take profits um, and that was uh, right at the open on the 11th and uh that would have been at about twenty six thousand one hundred and eighty, just a little off the top 60 points off the top very nice move from the 20 right here around about twenty four thousand i think it was 820 and uh hey that's a pretty big 11 10 11 percent in a, in a very short in a week and a half so anyway that was just only for swing traders and there's a plan that you could put it back at a certain level but uh, it was only taking a little bit off because my, my contention here is that there's a really, if this is just a minor blip and we can go to 20 on the daily chart above 26,248 in the next day or two, I'm going to have to call that a new buy, buy signal leg B. Probably almost immediately I'll have to go to a buy mode, but we'll see. You go one thing at a time. Why? Because look, the, um, whoops, it's this one here. The stochastic is steady as a rock at 88%. That's really nice. And the MACD is expanding. So I discussed some of these technicals uh, last night uh, for, for subscribers to my opening call. So if you're new to technical analysis or you really want to get an education, even if you're used to technical analysis, there were some things I discussed here that I think are pretty pertinent in this particular environment. All right, enough with that. Let's go to the SM. So the Dow support level is at 25,920. 25,870 should really hold any sudden weakness. We'll see what happens. And in the meantime, the S&P, just to do this quickly, S&P, the weekly chart needs a lot of work uh, in terms of having the V-shaped pattern con continue uh, based on the technicals. The, the MACD is okay. It's negative, but kind of flat, and that's okay. But the stochastic is only now turning up at 43%. It really needs to get a lot more. So that's going to be very important. When I'm looking at the, uh, where did I go? Let me just put this on the side here. Thank you. Okay, when I'm looking at the, the support level, so let's just say 20, right here, 28, between 28.88, sorry, 28.74 and 28.72. That should be a good cushion on any pullback. Wow, any move to the upside that goes over the high of the 11th goes to 29.11 and holds at least for a couple of hours would be very good action. Now, the QQQs, this is, going to be, this is going to be very important. Why? Because if I'm looking at the Qs, in a way, they're lagging. They haven't had quite as good a move from the low. Um, and that says that if I look at the FANG stocks, I mean to have a look. Isn't there an index that's a FANG index? I wonder what it's... Let me just do this real quickly. Facebook, up today, up 2.82. It's bumping up against this longer term. Let's call it an intermediate term daily from the 198.48 top of the 25th down to where it's hit three days in a row. Look at that trend line. I'll make this green because if it breaks above it, that's going to be good. But actually, I'm going to make it red. And then I'm going to say, let's do another one above that. So I'll make this look. I'm making it red or pink in this case. And then I'm going to put another one just above it because it needs to clear that. It needs to actually start trading. I'm just putting it kind of there. And it needs to... Facebook has to go above 180.50 to really show that it's got a little bit of strength to help the MACD improve. But so far, I just said, you know what? Chop, chop, chop for Facebook can continue a little longer. I'll be right back. Dow's up 66, S&P's up 9.32. Basil Chapman, Tiger Technicians Hour, and host of the Tiger Technicians Hour. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi folks, we're back and I have to apologize to Mark. Mark, are you there? Mark in Denver. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. You know, I, I saw your name right at the beginning of the show and my producer said, uh, all right, off the bat, we have Mark in Denver and I even said, okay, and then... You know, I'm in such a habit of doing my little pro my my prologue uh, that I, I got carried away. You want to look yeah. at USX Steel, correct? Yeah, and no, I enjoyed your prologue, so it's all good. Um, yeah, I uh, nibbled on it yesterday in around 1370. It looked started to look like it's starting starting to set up a little bit, but I was wondering what your thoughts are. I took about a half a position. Okay, so this is very good. You're in. Uh, you 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 actually went in yesterday to United States Steel. It's trading at fourteen dollars and seven cents, up thirty-two, so it's nicely above your entry point. I've been looking at this really closely, and I'm trying to decipher because for every webinar, for I don't know how long, I've always talked about steals. Last night, I decided I would not talk about the steals. Go to um, I, I wait a little bit because there's a lot going on, and I'm thinking that if there is going to be some kind of amelioration between China and the United States between uh, with the tariffs and with the what is bought and what is not and what they're going to be doing. Um, I think at some point you will see uh, the whole steel sector and SLX is the uh, symbol for the for the steel sector Van Eck Vector Steel ETF trading at 37.74 up 48 cents. Um, I I would not be surprised if this whole congestion area down towards the lows is going to turn into a basing form. So in a, in a sense, um, I'm not sure if you, I, I heard kind of a click. I'm not sure, Mark, are you there yeah, still? I, okay, you're okay. Your analysis, sorry. So what I'm, if you don't mind, what I'm going to do just real quickly is I'm going to go to the Chapman Way projections of, of different time frames to the 1420, 1412, 
1420 is strong resistance um, on a shorter term basis. So I don't know if it's shorter term in, in the daily, but it did repel the price before. But on the 10 minute chart, that's the area that between 14 and 1412, and it's trying to tackle that right now. I'm going to make this suggestion. So you've got in a position, but you do intend at some point to add. Um, do you have a price that you would start to add at, or would you wait for it to rally and then maybe see if it's building some kind of weekly strength? Um, yeah, I is this... I'd like to probably do that second part. Okay, so then this is what I'm going to say to you. First of all, you're the one that chose to pull the trigger and to get in yesterday. Yeah, I have to I have to give you credit for that because it's been a tough sell. If you're looking, folks, on the weekly chart here in the middle, just have a look at this. Every time, this was on our radar, on our radar for ages, then I said, I'm done with steel because it's just not doing what I want. And we watched it make this Chapman Wave H pattern, lower lows. It takes out the left side, goes to lower lows. It's a 200 period moving average. It goes all the way from the 47 area down to the 25s and the 27s, actually. And then it breaks down. Then it tries to rally towards it from the 17 level and can't get there. It stops at 21. And then it goes all the way down to the most, uh, the doji low. And this is the candle that I was looking at just the other day. I thought, wow. At 1167, that doji in a leg E and then in a trough E, uh, I, you know, that, that said to me that the risk reward was getting far more uh, beneficial and weighted towards the reward side then the risk, it could be time. So here I'm going to say to you, congratulations on your entry, because if steel is going to make a move at all, within a couple of days, it could go very quickly to 14.90, 15.10. And then you say, oh my, it's already up four, it's up 35 or 6% from the low. That's a really big move. And then you look at the monthly chart or the weekly, and you say, oh my goodness, that is just a horrible chart. So here's what I'm going to say to you. First of all, congratulations. Secondly, I'm going to say, I don't know where you, if you have a stop at all, but I'm thinking that just in this particular move, at this particular time for U.S. Steel, I probably, if I got in right now, if not if it was my subscribers, but me personally, I would say I would not put a stop in at this point because there's just enough evidence to say on a shorter term uh, a momentum play, the technicals are suggesting that there should be very strong support in the 1360 to 1340 area. And if that does hold, you're going to see higher highs and higher lows. So I would not want to be stopped out with a, a, a tight stop because it's going to be hard to get in a second time if it suddenly moves higher. If it moves lower, then you say, oh, that was a good move. But I'm looking at this, and I'm with you. I think that the technicals and everything about it are suggesting that unless there's really bad, even more bad news to come, this is the basing area. But I, the, second, the second point, I'm going to say to you, maybe it's time and not price, that if in two weeks' time, U.S. Steel has not taken out the 1167 low, or not even taken out the low of the 5th of June at 12.75, but is stuck in this area with slightly higher highs, but not going anywhere, I think it's trying to form a base. So in that regard, you've already said you've got a half position now. Is that correct? Correct. OK. So I would, I, I don't really want to advise you, because you've, you've done this very nicely. You've thought it through, and you've done it. What I am going to say is these are my suggestions. You might want to take them or not. I think a half position for a stock that's just been beaten down and beaten down, but that still hasn't had a resolution to make it really a viable stock, I'd, I'd say hold off on the other half. Maybe the other half right. could have a quarter position uh, that you add. You're in, in, in the high 13s. Maybe you just put a little uh, put a position in at maybe 13, 58, 13, 62. You just put a small position in as a feeler position because if it's going to work, it should it should if it should slide, that slide based on the technicals I'm looking at should be brief intraday and it should close at the high of the day and then you've got yourself another uh, tranche of of the buy that you wanted to have, but you've still got enough money to say, on this position, you've got a quarter left, 
and that quarter could be used if it breaks to a leg C above 40.54. At 40.55, I would put another position. If you haven't got the second position, then I would say to you at 15 and leg C to the upside at 14.55, I'd add another position, but I don't think I'd go for the full position at this particular time. I'd rather use the other half and split it so that I've got a little bit left over for, who knows, anything can happen at any time. You either want to be uh, able to uh, grab something on the way down because it just, it looks like a brief uh, emotional response to something that's going on, or you want to just have it there ready at any point, but I don't think I'd get the full position yet. You can even start thinking full position as it climbs and it goes to leg C. That's where you can put the extra little bit on, and then you're ready. You're ready to 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 do it. But the the way it's had such a a deep correction says to me that there should be maybe not an arch formation, but there should be some testing of the mid 13s at some point and that's going to be the clue but hey nice nice entry point i i'm with you that was a very good entry point congratulations yeah i like i liked it better than ak steel that looked a little weaker to me so i thought i'd try this one still good so let okay. me know how it goes thank you for calling i appreciate it mark thank you everybody thank you very much folks we'll be back Dow's up 70 we'll be right back since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. So GNRC is uh, Generac uh, Holding. I believe that's in Generators. And I'm not sure if I did this in the den the other day, about two, three days ago, or if I did it um, live. But what I was saying is that 
I'm thinking that this is actually not a G that's going to be a leg in the daily chart. Uh, it's trading 64.92 up a dollar 83. Well, it went to a very powerful leg from. Uh, let me just see. So it went to 65.70 from the 53 area. It went over 10 points higher to 60, 65.73 on the 11th. And that's what we were looking at. And I, I believe, I, or maybe it was yesterday. And then I said, this, everything about this looks like it's more like a new leg A. And, and I probably would have to say it's, a, it's a, an alternate count. But everything about it with the MACD so strong and stochastic over 80%, it's now at 82%, a little bit lower than it was the other day. Um, I like it. And I think it's a very good and person that was asking about it in the den. Uh, I said, yep, I like that. Uh, it could pull back a little bit, but uh, you want, if there's any pullback at all, um, you want to actually be thinking of, of adding to your position. And now it's, it's extended very nicely in the daily chart. If it's able to get to the 66s, I have to call this an absolute, if this is an all-time, I'm sure this is an all-time high. Yep, all-time high right now. It's above the high that was made back in 2014 in March of 62.50. Made a beautiful extended cup formation. You see this pattern here? This is, I think, what the dollar is going to look like in the end uh, in the monthly chart. So, yeah, con congratulations. Very good, uh, a good, good position. And, uh, yeah, I agree. Massive five-year cup formation. So, okay, now let's go to a couple of things that I'm missing here. Uh, I just wanted to say that the IWM is up on a percentage basis, up 0.86, and the Dow's only now up 0.18, and the S&P is up. Point, this is point. This is 0.85 percent, and the uh, Dow is up 0.18 percent. S&P is up 0.23. So this is what I've been talking about, and I spoke about in my in my. Uh, webinar last night, how we could rotate and we could go through different scenarios and even stocks that are in a strong group, group you'd find some that are very weak. And some of the weak groups, you've got some outstanding stocks. For instance, look at Merck. Merck, um, which I mentioned last night, has had a spectacular move, gone to an all-time high yesterday when I was showing it on my in my webinar. And yet the PPH, which is the Van Eck Vectors Pharmaceutical ETF, Look at this. It's, it's in the lower range. It looks terrible. So specific stocks can do very well. Remember, I was looking at Facebook the, uh, just a moment ago. So in that FANG selection, Amazon is holding nicely at 1870 up 15 right here. If you look at the um, monthly chart, it's got this triangle formation. I have to tell you something. I, I can't stand these. I draw them all the time. And um, the theory is that if you break the trend line, the declining trend line, you go above it, you should go back to the top on the left side. Well, for me, that's just the cup formation or the V-shaped formation. And on the downside, if you break the lower support, you should go all the way down. I have found that you can continue in an apex pattern, the sideways triangle, and keep going. It can frustrate the, the heck out of you. It's almost like a rectangle in a way. So it's not one of my favorite. I like to use it with other Chapman Wave techniques, like this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, meaning that if Amazon starts to trade at 1985 at any point, it's not, it's not far away. It's uh, 1985. It's like 110 points higher. Well, it's not big. That should be. the sound. I don't know why it keeps cutting out, cutting in, cutting out. Netflix is just, it's struggling. It is just struggling. So that's the way I'm looking at it. So just let me recap for a moment. I was saying that Merck was very strong in a very weak sector. Facebook is just kind of so-so. Amazon is strong in, in, a, in a sideways, big consolidation, eight-month consolidation uh, phase with some of the FANG stocks. So each sector now is working kind of independently and that's a, another focus that I had last night. So I'm going to, for my subscribers, maybe this weekend, maybe sometime during the week, 
I'll get back to the whole steel sector. I've let it lay off for a little while. I just wanted to see how, how it behaved this week. And there are some signs. Uh, yes, Disney, that's a good point here. Let me see. Disney, yeah, I like Disney. In fact, for subscribers, I was going to grab some Disney, but that was a choice between Disney and PLD, which is the Prologis, which is even now making all-time highs. That's the one I chose. Uh, it was really, uh, it was one or the other. And this is, that's the one I chose. I do think that Disney is actually, for a while, I've been saying Disney's acting superb. It really is. Look at the cup formation in the weekly chart. Look at this monthly. It looks like it wants to extend. If it goes to a higher high, I'm not calling that F. I'm calling that F slash C in the monthly chart. All right. Next question I had was IYT. I'll look at the IYT. Transports up $1.42. Thank goodness. A little bit of a leg C right here, just bumping up against the 200 period moving average. I had a, 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 more a statement than anything else um, this morning where if I'll give it to you exactly because it was it was worded very well. Um, here we go. When a trend is only in a when a trend is truly in a V-shaped pattern, there's absolutely no time to think about a digestive phase or vacation time to think about adding to your position. Um, you simply need to add to your position anytime there's the slightest pullback. That to me is the definition of V-shaped pattern. I believe we're in on the daily charts, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, I. I agree with you. I'm just not sure. Let me just go back to the daily chart of the Dow, which is kind of what we're talking about. This V-shaped pattern right now has different conditions to the V-shaped pattern that unfolded from the December low. This is a secondary move to the upside based on other factors, it's sort of similar factors, but factors that are now in a different phase of their own development, that, that's tariffs, that's rates. You know, I'm getting tons of stories right now about the, uh, about the, yeah, let me just give it to you. Uh, oh, it was so nicely worded. I hope I can find it. Uh, it was about the yields. Don, don, don. Um, the real yield. Oh, will I find it? Okay, maybe I'll have to use the next break. But it was just a whole bunch of information about, there it is. Okay. If I can just click on it now. Uh, term premium hit record low amount investors in bonds who are willing to take risk of longer term versus short term bonds are being, come, come what? Are being something. Are being, let me move that over. Are being compensated in interest. Um, then another one that said, uh, right here, where we took, we'll be talking about the three-year, uh, the three-year over the ten-year. You know, this is these are all very important, and I know a lot of people are now talking recession. I don't know if I want to take time right now. Maybe tomorrow's technical Friday. I'll get into it. All I can say is there is no other place to go, and that's the reason why the market is doing well. I think that that makes it as simple as you can. NIMBY or whatever it's called. What did I say in the TLT? I'll be back and we'll talk about it in a moment. It's called... If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190.
It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD. Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. So let me just get to this HBAN, which is Huntington Bank Shares. As I was looking at the chart and everything, I thought, I know this name. I know it very well. Um, yeah, Huntington Bank Shares had a spectacular move a couple of years ago, and then it kind of it was kind of dull. And then last year, 17, 17 into 18, middle of 18, this time last year, it had a really nice run again, again from uh, somewhere in, in the 10, 11 area up to the 16s, and it's pulled back sharply into the 11s, and now it's trading at 13.49. So, Basil, is the current price of HBA in a good entry? Does it look like it has formed a base at the best of days, Tim? Tim, I'm looking at this, and I'm suggesting to you that the pattern that I speak about very often, where the lowercase h goes to a lowercase m, is really the pattern. If you're thinking of a trade, I wouldn't do anything more than get a small position at 13.49, I'd have a fairly tight stop. I wouldn't want you to go below 13, 13, 29, 13, And if it had to rise from here to 13.65, I'd raise the stop. Why? Because I think it's going to try. If we can get to 13.65, there's a really good chance the 13.78, 200 period exponential moving average is in, in the cards. And then you can see a 14.20 in the H pattern with a higher low on this side. It kind of took out the trend line support right here. You'll see that it really broke it quite sharply. But that's not the issue. The issue is that the MACD is trying to turn back up, and the stochastic is rallying, although it's only at 38%. So as a trade, yes, if it turns into a longer-term position, you'll be able to add to it because the next, if it goes to 14.25, the next pullback should make the 1350s very strong support as it makes higher highs and higher lows. So the answer is, if you've got your eye on it and you, really, you, you like it, it's something you followed, this is probably an area where there's a good chance that if it can hold support, and I, I'd only give it 28, 30 cents stop right now, I'd be looking at it and saying, it has to work and it has to work very quickly. But if it does work, I think you can get a, a, a leg C above 13.78, but it has to be within, oh, I'd say by Friday week. Um, a maximum Monday a week. You've got to see this moving up into that area. Hope that helps you. Question I had was, uh, oh, we've got Adam in Ohio. Adam, how are you? Not too bad. How is yourself today? 
I'm good. I'd be much happier if it wasn't raining and cold and miserable and summer had really started. This is the longest start to summer I can ever remember. Cloudy rain, wind is not going nowhere like the market. <laughs> ah, man. So you'd like to look at what, Adam? Um, Amazon. And uh, earlier you was uh, explaining the chart. There was a technical difficulty with the, with the sound. That's why I missed out. I did not have a chance to back again to, to hear you. Could you okay. go over it back again? Yes. So Thank Amazon, we have to consider Amazon as the old Sears and Roebuck. I spoke about this a long time ago. I said, is this going to be the case of Amazon is the equivalent of the 21st century Sears and Roebuck, where everyone had that big, thick Sears and Roebuck book, and they would have mail orders and all that sort of thing. So you have to consider that this is a 100-year development. In other words, what's happening, it might not be Amazon, but what Amazon's doing right now is so evolutionary, it's so revolutionary, that it is really a, a company that you have to consider in a portfolio, even though it's so expensive at 1872. You have to consider that it is some part of your portfolio have, should have a little bit of Amazon if you are looking at the very long term, or if you have, say, um, uh, children or grandchildren that you want them to, you know, something that you want to give them as a present at some point. This is the kind of stock that I'd be looking at, even if it had to have a big pullback in the next uh, three, four, five months, another big pullback, although well, I don't think it will, but it looks to me like this is really a major, um, it is really highlighting technology, the avid um, enthusiasm that people have really just embraced the technology that allows you to press a button, and even on the same day, let alone the next day, you might be able to get those goods, and it could be something as simple as, uh, uh, a, a pencil. You just order one pencil and you get them delivered. So that has very negative um, implications for the consumer in terms of packaging and all the, the waste that goes with it. But in terms of immediacy, I'm saying Amazon is really a power to consider in your longer term outlook. Now, shorter term, there's a resistance level, just like the Dow that we're looking at here. I've drawn this line in. I'm going to make this one uh, green right at the moment. I don't know if you're able to see the charts while you're on the phone with me, but if you don't in the archive, you'll see it. And what I've done is I've drawn what we call the Chapman Wave inside, where, uh, inside track repellent zone. And it's just, it's held the price back right here. So if Amazon in the next, I, I don't think it should be more than Tuesday at the latest. So you've got Friday, you've got Monday, give it a few days. By Tuesday, if Amazon's trading at 1905, and it's at 1871 right now, that, to me, is a breakout with the MACD improving, the stochastics at 84. That's very strong in the daily. The weekly chart is holding quite nicely. And that would say to me that there's a really good chance that the downtrend, that same downtrend line, but in the bigger chart, in the 2050.50 high of September at peak E in the Chapman Wave, going down to the most recent high of 1964. I'm going to draw this in. I'll, I'll do the same thing. I'll make this green because the, the prices are going to be different because it's a monthly chart. And in this particular instance, new parallel, I'll make that pink. Uh, there we go, pink. All right. So that says... Do you think, uh, do you think in, in the couple of days coming, it's, it's going to go back down to test the 1825, 1830, and from there we'll turn back up, so we will load up on that time? Oh... Do you have a short position? Not really, no, no, not yet. Oh. <laughs> okay. Not yet. I'm, going the reason... I'm going long, but because it keep going up to hit that where it is right now, so yep. I'm trying to see if I could, because I'm looking to get some leap on it. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I figured there was a, there was a, a particular mo a reason for you doing that. Ask me that question, especially for the downside. Your, your, your real question, Adam, am I correct in saying your real question is over the next three days, what do I think is the base, the, the, the low that could be made in Amazon if there is going to be a dip? Is that the question? Yes, yes. Okay. 
So on the, on the first level of support, let me show you something. I'll make this much. If when you get a chance, have a look at the archives because I'm trying to show you all the techniques that I'm using. In the 120-minute chart, it went to a peak D. At a peak D, the fourth highest peak in the Chapman wave, you can expect that that's where you might get a deeper correction. That's what we've got. But it's also turned into a cup formation. So if by the end of the day, if Amazon is actually trading, it's up 15 at 1871, we don't know what's going to happen by the end of the day. Anything can happen. But let's just say two scenarios. The first scenario is that it holds either it holds nicely here or that because the market is holding at 3 o'clock, there's a bout of buying that comes in and pushes Amazon into the 1875 area. So up another four or five points. Can, Adam, can you stay a, a moment? Yes, go ahead. Okay, so I'll, 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 when I get back, I'll give you exactly what I'm looking at, trying to sum it up very quickly. In the meantime, Jerry in the back bay, I know you're waiting in line. You're looking at Visa, which has just been absolutely fantastic. Today, it has a bit of a turnaround. I'll talk about that as I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back, and we're back with Adam in Ohio. Adam, you still there? Oops. I'm not sure. Okay. Adam, I'm going to do this because if it's being recorded, you'll be able to play it back. In Amazon, Amazon on the uh, Chapman Wave uh, support levels, 1864 is what we've got as key support. And below that is, uh, and actually 1876, uh, sorry, yeah, 1864 will be any, any sudden weakness over the next two days. But if you're looking at leaps, I wouldn't worry about 100 points in Amazon. You could go ahead with your leap at any point because, I mean, we're looking at higher highs at some point for Amazon. It'll be back on track 
So that's my thinking. So I wouldn't get fussy about 100 points, 50 points. You're looking at something that's going to be trading in the 2050 area uh, at some point in 2019 and even higher. So please, uh, that, that's my look at it. Now let's go. Jerry, you're still there? So yeah, I know. It's my fault. I was late. Yeah, yeah I'm just okay, thinking so. of uh, a lightening up on on the stock. Uh, it's been uh, looks a little over. I've been in mm -hmm. a long time, and uh, I, it's in an IRA account, so I can sell some and buy it back. So, okay, you know what I'm going to suggest? I'm, I'm going to be doing my show tomorrow at 8 a.m. in the morning. I don't want to rush this. I think you're right that maybe lightening up a little bit, but actually. I see support, and with interest rates, they must be making a bundle with rates like this. So I'm, I'm inclined to say to you, if you've got a long-term position, um, if you want to lighten up, just take a little bit off right now at 170.01. But I, I don't think I'd do more than that, and I will deal with this because I want to do MasterCard, American Express, and Visa together. So tomorrow morning at 8, when I do my show, I'll do some of this as well, okay? You might even want to call in if you're up at that time. But I will do Visa. I, I like it. The MACD is good. The Castix is good. I, I'm just inclined to say stocks that make new highs tend to continue making new highs. You know that. So, yeah, um, oh, yeah. No, it's been a beauty, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't hey, want to. Hey, hey, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Uh, sorry for the late call in. Take care. Okay, no problem. I'll do a little bit on it tomorrow. I'll make a note right now. I hope I'm reminded thanks. about it as well. Folks, stay tuned. You've got Steve Rose coming up. You've got uh, Dave White. You've got uh, Tom O'Brien. And check out my w webinar from last night in my opening call. You get a 30 day uh, subscription with the money back guarantee. And I think it was really worth it. I'll talk a little bit more about it tomorrow morning. Have a great day. And next week, I am on vacation. So, uh, Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.